Right, okay, I'm up here on the roof. As you, well, I think it's quite obvious if you can all see that. Um, here's the uni strut. I bought it in two and a half metre lengths. And it's basically pretty much the ideal length to bolt from one side of the roof to the other. At the back, I'm going to use the uh, aerial holes because I've got easy access to the other side. So I've got to put in blind rivets or riv nuts. Um, these are what I was going to bolt it down with. But they appear to be the exact same highest size as the hole in the roof. So let's pop out with B&Qs and get something bigger. There's the old aerial I took out. There's five of these on the roof. There's another one down the front in the middle. And two more down the front in the middle. There's one in the middle. You can see it. I'll zoom in on it. Just in front of that mushroom vent, there's one there, and then there's another two further down at the front, which I can't zoom in on because I'm crap at camera work. So, the general idea is I'm going to use the thick washer on the roof just to raise this up a little bit so it's got drainage. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do, while I've still got time, I'm going to pop over BQs, get myself some big washers that are bigger than this, and I'm going to seal the washer with some sicker flex inside and outside to the roof, bolt it up overnight, let that dry then come back and bolt this through the roof in those two places to put the back row in so that should be the right, just the right length to go across the roof and I'll have one further forward and then I'll have those um, rails I showed you earlier running fore and aft right, let's go at B&Q, so I'll be back in a sec Topics. Right, so here's the general plan of attack. That hole, miles too big. Got some of these washers, roofing washers. What I'm going to do is, I've roughed up the roof, I'm going to finish roughing it up a bit more with some sandpaper. I'm going to stick that down with some good old tiger seal. I'm going to stick another one up from inside, and I'm going to bolt them together and leave them to go off overnight. Hopefully what that will do is It'll raise this just enough off the roof to allow the water to drain out the holes. So that water and rot out. I mean, it's galvanised anyway, and it's painted with hammerite. But I've always been a belt and braces kind of man. Right, I'll get on with that, and I'll get back to when it's done, which will be tomorrow morning for me, and in a second for you. Right, so this is where we're at, peeps. I've uh, got the washers in, tiger sealed down with the tiger seal that's gone off in the tube. And uh, tomorrow I'll come back, hopefully the bolts will come out and they haven't got too much tiger seal on them, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll put the roof rail on and then that'll be the back roof rail done, ish, sort of, maybe. Um, so that, 